This week we read the portion of Naso. Naso is actually the longest single portion in the whole Torah. It's filled with many, many concepts, Sota, Nazir. I want to talk about the end of the Torah portion, where the 12 chieftains representing the various tribes give gifts to the tabernacle as it is going to be dedicated. And what's interesting about these gifts is the Torah goes through each chieftain and each gift. And each gift is identical. For someone who reads Torah, it's a wonderful thing because all of the trope, all of the cantillation notes are the same. So one of the questions that comes up is, why do we have to talk about each chieftain and each gift? Why don't instead just say, this is the gift that was given and all the chieftains gave the same gift. And I think that the Torah goes into this amount of detail to show that each gift was special to the chieftain that gave it. Each gift was unique. Each person had their own experience in giving that gift in the same way that we all say the same prayers, but each of us has our own individual experience as we recite the prayers. And then there's a beautiful comment in the Eitz Chaim, quoting Numbers Rabbah, the Midrash, that states that on the day the tabernacle was dedicated, something happened that never had happened before. The Shekhinah, the presence of God, descended from heaven and took up residence in this world. And it's with that Shekhinah, with that presence of God, that each of us needs to connect with in our own way. Services this Friday begin at 6 p.m. as we celebrate June birthdays and anniversaries. Shabbat morning services commence at 9 a.m. This Shabbat is our college graduation Shabbat as we honor all those uh, who have graduated either from college or graduate school this year. Shabbat Shalom.